Hey everybody, Mr. Berg here, and uh, we've got this drawing that I created last time in our uh, drawing three-dimensional creatures, I think it was called, video. And now what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of time and put this uh, creature in some sort of a jungle environment or something. Who knows? A uh, couple things to think about as we're doing this. Um, just being intentional about drawing things that are closest to us first so that we don't have to go back and erase a bunch of stuff. But um, let's get started. I'd kind of added this shadow down here. And um, I might, you know, just kind of solidify that a little bit more. Uh, I'm certainly not going to define the shape of the shadow to make it look, you know, like the actual creature is casting a shadow or anything. I'm just going to do some of this, and I'll probably add a little bit of stippling on top of that in order to um, make like kind of a sand or a dirt texture, I guess. But for the background environment, we got a few different things we can do here. Um, one of the ways that I like to do different types of trees, maybe palm trees and stuff like that. Um, here we go. So all I've done there is tried to create kind of this three-dimensional uh, like tree that's just past this guy. It looks like he might be walking just past it, um, and that's okay. Um, if you wanted to make it look further you know, back, you would have just placed this a little bit higher up. Uh, and now the nice thing about doing that here is I could have you know, perhaps some other uh, similar trees or um, plants, I guess you could call them coming up like this and they don't all have to be huge they can be kind of doing different things but it's just a way that I can add some sort of dimension to this and um, I probably should have erased that line right there but oh well now one thing I'm going to want to do is probably make that one that I that second uh, tree that I drew there a little bit darker to show that it's a little bit further back, but at the same time, I don't want to make it too dark because uh, I still want to be able to see a little bit of the, um, um, what's I'm gonna call it, texture and stuff in there. And make it look 3D. I'm gonna spend some more time going on that. And you know what? When I'm kind of blending stuff in with my fingers, a lot of times I end up smearing the pencil. So it's important just to go back and clean things up. You can erase uh, stuff that you want. Now, aside from that, um, this is just little tufts of grass. You can do whatever you want with those uh, leading up to uh, where the creature is. I'm just adding small little bits of grass and stuff. Here, um, some people think that if you're making grass, you have to draw a billion little hatching marks all over the place. And I like to just suggest like kind of patches of grass, mostly because I don't have time or patience to draw a billion little grasses. Grasses? Yeah, sure. Grasses everywhere. So um, I like to just do something like this and suggest that there's grass there. And then you can also, you know, add in little patches of dirt or, or things around that. Just soften things up and uh, blend them in. A general rule of thumb I like to keep is the closer something is to you, the lighter it can be. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't have dark things in the foreground. But uh, in order to show a little bit more depth as well, similar to what I did with like the animal's legs here, Things that are further back away from you should be a little bit darker. You can have any sort of tall grass here if you wanted to. Just kind of these odd plants and it's kind of a prehistoric looking creature. So perhaps we'd want to create some different uh, textured plants and flowers and stuff like that that you know don't necessarily um, exist currently, like in our current time period. And uh, all I'm doing here, adding uh, different shapes and then using value to kind of suggest, I don't know what that is, kind of an odd plant or something, maybe. Yeah, who knows. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff that you can do. Now, if you wanted to go, let's do it. Um, the, the giant mountain in the back, right? 
Everyone wants some sort of a giant volcano or a mountain or something. And uh, for me, the easiest thing to do is kind of, you know, just sketch in where you maybe want those things to be. They're going to be way off in the distance and um, not very detailed at all, but just these large objects taking up space. And uh, it's hard to decide where, like, where should those start, where should they end, and things like that. Um, the main thing you want to do is just not disrupt uh, your drawing by having them be too... Um, uh, too close to the same like value as the the creature here. So I've got this nice uh, variety of grays here. I'd probably want to make this uh, either really dark or keep that light and make the sky dark around it in order to give our uh, drawing a little bit of depth. Okay, so I'm going to come come down here. Maybe that's just like a big mountain range that's way off in the distance. You could have kind of way back here. Perhaps this can be like you know the tree line. Doesn't look like a tree line yet, but as he would just kind of, you know, suggest that and uh, have that be another textured shade of gray. I want to keep that creature kind of a darker color. I'm sorry, darker shade. So maybe I'm just doing something like this. And it's a way that we can kind of break up what's going on. Once you have that dark value in there, now you could start to go in and say, well, maybe I'm going to then define a little bit more of maybe what's out there, giving those trees a little bit more definition. Just kind of making your way through things. Okay, there's all sorts of different things you can do. Uh, this is just a start. I'm not going to uh, take any longer doing this, but um, yeah, way to add background, some trees, any sort of texture. Oh, and then like sand. So like down here, if you wanted to do um, make some dirt and patches and stuff like that. You could certainly add some stippling on top in order to make some textured ground where the animal's walking on. And here's something that you can always do as well. It kind of suggests like the footprints where the animal just stepped. Um, that's kind of a nice thing to do. Here and then maybe you have a couple back here. Just kind of those darker areas. Adds a little bit to it. Cool. Happy uh, backgrounding. See ya.